Hi guys, welcome back to WD18, the Watford Fan Channel, and to another episode of the Transfer Talk videos where we give you all the latest rumours, gossip and news surrounding Watford Football Club. There's a lot of rumours we need to get through today and also a confirmed signing by their parent club. And we'll kickstart the episode with that news. Watford on the verge of signing Swedish international winger Ken Semmer from Ostersunds for £2 million. Now I know what you're thinking, it hasn't been announced by Watford yet. But I've looked on the Ostersunds website and they've revealed that he's played his last game. They put a whole statement out um, from the chairman saying good luck in the future. They've said he's off for a medical in London. He's on a flight to Watford um, and get his medical done and get the deal over the line. It's rumoured to be on a five-year contract, £2 million. But it's a deal that's not... I mean, it wasn't really coming. I, I literally didn't see any rumours prior to today. But it's just come out of the blue, expressing um, a Swedish media outlet have reported it. There's pictures to prove it. Even Ostersunds have, like I said, have put a statement out and also their chairman as well. So there's definitely substance to it. It's no no real rubbish. Um, and he looks to be Watford's fifth summer signing. He's a 5'11 winger. He's pacey. He narrowly missed out on Sweden's World Cup squad. And apparently he's got huge potential. So £2 million. He was linked with Swansea City as Graham Potter, the former Ostersunds manager, has gone there. But it looks to be... A decent signing, and it'll be interesting to see Richarlson's situation now. Is that mean he's off, um, or is it just going to be back up? I'm not too sure, but one thing's for certain, £2 million, you can't really go wrong, and a 24-year-old winger, and he should be confirmed by Watford in the coming days. Moving on to the Ben Foster saga. Now, Sky Sports are reporting that Watford are hoping to conclude a deal for the West Bromwich Albion goalkeeper in the next week. Um, this was reported on their transfer transfer live blog. Um, they've said they've agreed a fee. Personal terms don't appear to be a problem, but they just need to get the the deal over the line um, and 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 basically be announced. Um, but that was going to happen in the next week or so. So obviously it's been one that's been wanted by a lot of Watford fans. Two point five million as reported by the Telegraph. A really good deal for Watford. It will be interesting to see how Elio Gomez is positioned. At the club, he's been saying how he probably won't stay at Watford. Where does it leave? Dalberg, Backman, etc. So look out for that one. Ben Foster on the verge of signing for Watford and the deal should be concluded in the next week or so. Moving on to players that are leaving the club. One has been confirmed and that is Costel Pantillamon has gone back to Nottingham Forest. He spent last season on loan there. He's gone on a permanent move um, from Watford and that was announced by the club. And also moving on to a rumour now, according to reports in Holland... Feyenoord want to sign Daryl Yammat this summer. Um, he's someone, well, obviously Feyenoord took uh, Steven Berghaus off us. So they, they managed to attract him back to the Eredivisie. Now they want to take Daryl Yammat. Um, maybe be linking up with Berghaus down that right-hand side. We all, we all know Berghaus was a right wing and Yammat's a right back. Um, but I think this one really depends on Kika Femenia's situation. He's just had a baby. Will he want to move back to Spain um, and, and settle? Do he, does he want to continue in England and continue to play in the Premier League? Or is he homesick and wants to be back with his family in Spain um, after having a baby uh, just recently? So really does depend on Kika Femenia. In my opinion, if he does go, um, then Dari Yammat probably has to say. But if Kiko wants to stay, then let Dari Yammat go. Get a fee for him and we move on. Um, we've obviously got the likes of Yamat, Mark Navarro's now come back into he can play right back as well um, and centre back. So it really does depend on the Kika Femenia situation, but I wouldn't be against Yamat leaving if the circumstances were right. So that wraps up another episode of the Transfer Talk videos. Make sure you do leave a like if you enjoy them. Let me know what you think of all the transfer news and rumours down in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe as always, and I'll see you in the next one.